The Lunar New Year in Mongolia is pretty important. It's three days of uh, visiting families and like everybody tries to wrap up unfinished business, clean your house. So that year is wrapped up, that's finished and you create the new year fresh, almost like it's, it's a clean slate. I was one of those kids who would draw on like books and <laughs> walls and stuff at home and I studied painting at SCA, Sydney College of the Arts. I don't know, and then I started doing uh, painting walls and stuff and uh, that's kind of taken me some places that I'd never even thought I would. <laughs> The St. George project, I wanted to make it uh, very colorful and fun for, for kids and families. And having my own kid, I kind of realized what they are drawn to. <laughs> it's always like the more like crazier the colors and uh, cuter the animals, like they, they really like get drawn to that. So um, I channeled some of that. <laughs> I wanted to reference the most recognizable elements of Lunar New Year traditions. So I took images from like Chinese and Vietnamese communities. This one in particular is kind of one of my favorites out of them all because <laughs> it just has lots of motion and the fireworks are always loud and like because there's so many bright colors that um, it's fun to paint. The thing about street art is just that relationship between the public and the artist. When you paint something in, like uh, in, a, in a public area, it's the scale of painting kind of big and using your whole body and it's all about shoulders and arms and legs and balancing. <laughs> it means the world to see your kid excited about stuff. When I'm painting these pictures, that's what I'm kind of like picturing in my head, like all these kids kind of like walking by and just stopping like, oh, mom, look, look, you know? <laughs> Make them real bright, real playful. <laughs> Something that would grab their eyes like from afar. The Lunar New Year, to me, it's like, it's always been about family and children are the future, I guess.